Hey chums, and welcome to another Let's Play with me, RC, here on Video Chums. If you enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave me a GG in the comments, and hey, like and subscribe too. Today we're going to be playing a bit of Comanche here on Steam. This is a new early access game that just came out about a month ago in March. And uh, they just came out with their first update for the game, which improves a lot of different options for the game. But basically what you got here is a really cool and interesting helicopter game that you can play single player or multiplayer. So we're going to jump right into it. Um, I have not played any of this game yet except for a couple tutorials. So just so you know, if things don't go well, that's why. Uh, let's jump into single player here. We'll do mission one and see what this is all about. Uh, so far, this is pretty cool. It really feel I feel like it bridges. Oh, let's listen here. One of their MQ-107 surveillance UAVs. I'll turn up the volume just a tad here. Cybersec informs us that the had more carrying unauthorized ultra class sensitive data. We believe someone on base acquired the sensitive data and manually uploaded it to the UAV before takeoff. The contents of that data have likely led to its disappearance. Security protocols of the IGTF servers make remote access physically impossible. Osaka Base Security is currently investigating who had maintenance access to the drone before takeoff. The UAV's last known coordinates place it in an archipelago 120 miles off the coast of Chennai, India. Satellite intel shows no hostile presence within the archipelago. IGTF Maritime Special Forces have been tasked with area reconnaissance and retrieval. Raptor Squadron has been attached to provide QRF support. Expeditionary Force call sign Frogman was sent out 44 minutes ago. However, they've missed their last two scheduled radio checks. This was originally thought to be a straightforward snatch and grab operation. Comanche Unit call sign Vanilla and support ship call sign Handyman are to provide backup and technical support. Wow, they give you a long, dried out mission briefing there, don't they? Which is totally okay. This give us a little bit to know uh, what Vanilla we're getting two. into here, right? Vanilla 2 to All right. dog mode actual, com check affirmative, over. Head to Frogman's last known location and give me a sit rep ASAP. Be advised, you'll be running point on this recon mission. You'll be accompanying support ship call sign Handyman. Understood, dog lord. We got you covered, handyman. Roger, mm -hmm. vanilla two, solid copy. Good to have you with us. Handyman out. I like that. Vanilla two, thanks to have you with us. Uh, so the controls uh, are are pretty intuitive, actually. They they combine the uh, arcade feel that you would want from uh, you know like a fun dogfighting game with that of a simulation. Uh, so you definitely feel like you're playing a simulation, but um, you know, at the same time, it doesn't feel so hard to control. We're approaching Frogman's last known location. We're approaching the coordinates. How copy? Vanilla 2. This is Handyman. I'm getting a lot of static here. Are you reading me? We reach a Handyman, but we're not receiving Dog Lord. Getting severe interference and long-range guns. Short range seems nominal. That interference must be why Frogman hasn't called home yet. Alright, so here we are. See what we're seeing. Jesus, that's one of Frogman's small craft. No sign of Frogman, though. This is Vanilla to Dog Lord Actual. The expeditionary force has been attacked. I repeat, Frogman has been attacked. How copy? Brooks, send the drone in to have a look at Frogman's small craft. The drone's equipped with an LMG, a booster, and a cyber sweep. Maybe their black box is still intact. So as he mentioned, you can pop out and play as a drone, which I think is really, really fun. So you can, like, kind of zoom in here and see what, what is going on. Check out our friendly boat over here. Pretty cool, right? And one thing I might want to tweak, though. Uh, you play controls. I'm using keyboard and mouse for this. I'm looking for... Here we go. Free look sensitivity. Woo, that is low. Let's just try 56, what do you say? Okay, that's much better, okay. Found something to interact with, what do we get? Man, looks like our boys aren't here. Vanilla, there's one more small craft undaccounted for. 
Maybe they have escaped into Kenya. I recommend you head in to investigate. Good plan, Handyman. If Frogman's still alive, they're probably knee-deep in it. Handyman, we'll head into the canyon. Be on the lookout for hostiles. So the game also looks good, uh, as you can tell. It's got a beautiful look to it. Uh, not sure how to return the drone back to where he's supposed to be if we need him later, but... <laughs> we're picking up number of blips on the mid-range radar. Hey, we're shooting. Also possible structure up river. Copy that, Handyman. All right, Hotshot. I don't know what they talked to you at the academy before they pulled you out for deployment. Oh, wait, my bad. I totally forgot you didn't even graduate. Oh. Following an attack by hostiles. Swift and deadly force is legally authorized. This whole canyon's a free fire zone. Oh, don't fall in the water. All right. One down. All right, trying to spin. Ooh, don't want to go <laughs> sideways. Here we go. Okay. And can we get this guy? Can we get him? No, oh, we're going in the water. Woo! Probably not what we want. <laughs> this is why I was saying, hey, you guys would be able to laugh at me if I, if I control this helicopter because it ain't going to go well. All right, we're going to go... We're going to go up here. we got a couple of guys that are close to death there. I just shot a missile. There we go. We got one of them. Shoot that guy. There we go. There's two. All right, we're gonna we're gonna come up for air. We're gonna spin. Get another rocket at that guy. Uh, Get him. Maybe we want to spin the other way. There we go. Enemies neutralized. Move forward down the canyon. Handyman, be advised. We spotted an enemy structure further ahead. Moving to engage. Keep your distance. Copy just that. The only real well, way to get used to the controls, right? Here. You just gotta keep Never playing. Mind. Toast these guys, Rook. Alright, we're gonna get in here. We're gonna lower our helicopter here, get in here. Those will meet where they need to go. Up. There we go. Reload. There we go. See, that felt really good to do right there. Spin around. Whoa! I was not doing well. Not doing well at all. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing in that situation to stay away from so much gunfire. I guess just stay high up, right? Handyman, looks like our boys aren't here. Vanilla, there's one more small craft. Vanilla, be advised. We're picking up number of blips on the mid-range radar. Also a possible structure up river. Copy that, Handyman. All right, Hotshot. I don't know what they talked to you at the Academy before they pulled you out for deployment. Oh, wait, my bad. I totally forgot you didn't even graduate. Following an attack by hostiles, swift and deadly force is legally authorized. This whole canyon's a free fire zone. All right, let's turn. Up, up, up! I did the exact same thing again. Those guys are watching me like, what is this guy doing? Just gotta start using that free fire thing just a bit more, I think. Spin around. Up, up, not the water again. Oh, I am crap at <laughs> controlling this thing, that's for sure. So, the interesting thing about this game is I, I played through the tutorials just a bit. And the tutorials are not super great at telling you the best way to do certain things. Like, they have a pretty comprehensive 
uh, moving tutorial. They have three different moving tutorials you can do where you do basic, advanced, expert. Uh, but the, for fighting, they only have one tutorial which is basically just dump you into, uh, you know, an area. Oh, I'm going to the water again. They dump you into an area where, um, you basically just need to, uh, it's sort of like an open map situation where you can just fight a bunch of enemies, which is cool, but it's not really a tutorial. It's more like a sandbox, you know what I mean? And, um, shoot one of those guys down, please. There we go. And while it's fun, it doesn't really give you the, the proper, uh, you know, doesn't give you the proper training, though, to, to kind of figure out, like, all right, what do I need to do in this situation when I have this many enemies around me, you know what I mean? If that makes sense. Enemies neutralized. There we go. Forward down the canyon. Handyman, be advised. We spotted an enemy structure further ahead. Moving to engage. Keep your distance. Copy that. All right, is there a way for me to get some more health? Because look at my... <laughs> But look at Never my helicopter health. These guys, Rook. I will indeed try to toast them. I'm doing a little bit better here. But yeah, I I need my uh <laughs> I need my, my copter like almost reset with health here because man. Things are not looking good for me. Enemies neutralized. Move All right. Down the canyon. So we're able to get through that area. Okay, so then it did reset my... Okay, so you have to get through a certain amount of enemies for it to re sort of reset your health. Whoa! All right, swing back. Swing back, sweet chariot. The problem with me is that, like, I keep... You know, W and S are actually your... Uh, you know, altitude buttons. So W makes you go up and S makes you go down. So I'm so used to using those in a first person shooter where, you know, those are actually meant to uh, go forward and backward, obviously. That installation so. up top looks like a radio jammer. No wonder our boys couldn't radio back to Doglord. GON really screwed the pooch on this one. There should be a transformer around here running that thing. Keep your eyes peeled. Man, I cannot hit this guy at all. Oh, he's gonna destroy me, like, immediately. Yeah, look at my health. My health is already... <laughs> so damaged right now. Okay, let's rise up a bit here. Yeah, we're... We're about, we're going to toast, I think. We're going to become toast here in just a second. All right, so that's one. There's another one. Okay, we got it. Ah! Man. I'm not doing great here. I am really not doing great. Wow, they're making me start from here. All right, guys, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna give this one more shot here and see how this goes. If I'm not able to get through it here, or at least like get a good checkpoint in here, I'm not sure that I'm gonna want to try again. To be quite honest. Copy that, handyman. All right, hot shot. I don't know what they taught you at the academy before they pulled you out with the plug. Oh wait, my bad. I totally forgot you didn't even graduate. Following an attack by hostiles. Probably a good idea to put a guy who didn't graduate his flight school like into the thick of things here, right? I'm just gonna use my missiles here. Screw it. Probably should save them, but whatever. It's either like lose health now or lose it later, you know. Okay, curve around. 
around. Here we go. Sometimes I'm like pretty accurate with this gun, and other times I cannot hit the broadside of a barn. Enemies neutralized. There we go. Okay. The canyon. Handyman, be advised. We spotted an enemy structure further ahead. Moving to engage. Keep your distance. Let's engage. Copy that. I thought satellite intel said there was nothing here. Never mind. Toast these guys, Rook. Oh, reloading. Alright, we're gonna rise up. Okay, that guy's done. Rise up! Oh, jeez. That really... <laughs> I've done it every single time right now, and uh, that gets me every single... Oh, we're gonna hit the... Oh, yeah, that's still good. I would definitely not pass. Uh... <laughs> I would definitely not pass any kind of flight school for flying a helicopter. That's for sure. I mean, would you want me to be flying you around? Kids or whatever. Probably not. No, no, no. Oh my god. I am doing so terrible again. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the control. I don't know if it's me. I am not sure. But I just cannot get a great handle on what I'm doing here. No, up, 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 up. Spin, spin. Okay, so I'm really surprised that they refill your your energy there for your helicopter, but they don't give you like a checkpoint there. Like that is so strange. That that's the way they're doing it. Okay, let's just be real careful here because we survived. I would like to at least get past this part. up top looks like a radio jammer. No wonder our boys couldn't radio back to Dog Lord. GON really screwed the pooch on this one. There should be a transformer around here running that thing. Keep your eyes peeled. Alright, we're gonna hit that guy. We're gonna do a quick spin here. Hit that guy. Get this dude. Boom. Alright, who else is shooting at me here? Who is shooting at me? Ah, I see. Vanilla 2 to Dog Lord Actual. Do you read? Over. This is Dog Lord Actual. Reading the loud and clear of Vanilla 2. We lost you for a while. Give me a sit rack. Half of Frogman is KIA. I repeat, half of Expeditionary Force is KIA. They were attacked by Unknown Op 4. Hostile radio jammer prevented any outgoing distress call. Jammer has been neutralized. Status unknown for the other half. This is Frogman Actual. We can use the geography to our advantage. Looks like there's a few good hiding spots among the rocks. It's a heavily fortified structure, so keep your head on a swivel. We should neutralize the enemies outside the base first. Once they're taken care of, we can... Rook, let's clear the board to get the Frogman. Engage those enemy forces. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to, huh? Take him out. Alright, we're gonna do a quick spinny spin here. Wrong way. Swing the other way. There it is. We really gotta take this guy out. Okay, he's done. Take this guy out too. All right. Spin right around. Oh, we're 
on top of him. That is not a good place to be. All right, let's rise back up. Let's see if we can zoom back out this way. Zoom back in. I say is actually a pretty tense fight too. Tense dog fighting for sure. I am not doing good here though. That is for sure. As if that's a huge surprise, right guys? Oh, I'm done. I'm done. Okay. But we got we got a smidgen further, but man, that is <laughs> <laughs> that is some tough fighting, I gotta say. Where is this gonna we stick us all the way back? To our advantage. Looks like there's a few good hiding spots among the rocks. It's a heavily fortified structure, so keep your head on a swivel. Alright. Neutralize the enemies. At least it started us first. here. Let's give this Once let's give this one more shot. The base. What do you guys say? Take cover by those shipwrecks. Until we get the situation under control. Rook, let's clear the board to get the frogman. Engage those enemy forces. See, what I really need is like almost like a way to figure out how to hover, you know? Take this guy out there. We're gonna hit this thing with three of these. Nope, do you wanna go up? Go up! I'm still getting used to these controls. Alright, swing around. Nope, nope. We are just getting pelted here. We came in doing doing okay, and now we're just like back to square one here. We got less than half of our health again. Swing around. Swing around thing again. Up, 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 up. Uh. Oh, jeez. I. <laughs> oh my god. I may have to come to terms with uh, the fact that I'm just. I just may not be good at this game. That might be all there is to it. Got him. Area secure. We're heading to the east dockside landing for pickup. Can you make your way to there? Negative, handyman. It looks like Vanilla's assault has put the base on lockdown. Entrances and exits are sealed tight. We're stuck inside until we find a way out. Our lads think the system may be controlled by a central server. Copy that, frogman. Vanilla, maybe your drone can find a workaround. Good idea, handyman. Brook, park the bird in a safe spot. We don't want to get shot down while you're busy with the drone. Launch the drone and find a way inside the base. Alright. I'm glad we can continue here. I was afraid I was not going to get past that part. It was just not working out. I said land the plane, but whatever. That ain't my problem. Okay, so here is the thing. We gotta go in through here. Can I not destroy that? Do I need to go down further? Aha! Let's that shut this is exactly place down. it. Look for a terminal and deactivate the lockdown so Frogman can exfil. Quick in and out. I love that the guy's name is Frogman too. It's great. It's a great nickname. Man, I wish controlling the helicopter is like controlling the drone. Controlling the drone is like so much easier. Uh, we gotta go down. Aha! Interact. Uh oh, what do we got here? 
Whoa! Other drones! And dudes! Some drones. See ya. any <laughs> we don't have any good weapons but whatever we'll see what we can do here short range scanners detect naval mines at the next bend handyman so much as sneezes it's game over for them and frogman or we could just blow them up the old-fashioned way it's up to you rook I'm trying I'm trying to blow them up I'm trying to trying to stay level as well I thought these were all going to be dudes shooting at me. I was like, I got no chance here. Continue through the canyon. All right. Shall we? Uh-oh. There's going to be some enemies here. They just refunded our, uh, <laughs> our missiles and our, our health here, so let's see what happens. Lord, we have eyes on a blast door sunk into the canyon wall. Unknown means of access. Request permission to have a go, sir. Negative, frog man. You boys sit tight. You'll be up to that soon enough. Up, 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 up. I'm getting too, too greedy here. Spin. There we go. Get this guy on. Go. There does not seem to be an access point here. Looks like this way is a no-go. Copy that. Continue upriver. Okay. But these guys are as smart as they seem. The UAV is further ahead. Affirmative, dog lord. Proceeding upriver. Watch your corners, Rook. This canyon's tight. Stay clear of the walls of the canyon. We want to keep this bird up in the air. More mines. It's one of the best moves you can do, actually. It's just like, if you got a quick movement, just spin around real quick, that'll... That'll kill your momentum a little bit, which is nice. Alright. So, spin. Oh, we only got one. Gotta go a little further out. Be able to get that vantage point. And spin. Ooh. There we go, got him. Okay. Starting to get a little bit more of the hang of this here. Still feels a bit strange, but I'm, I'm getting a little bit more the hang of it. Whoa. Where are you? Take him out. Okay. Out. I'm not moving enough. I'm not moving enough. Up, 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 up. <sighs> and we're taking out mines, so that's good. Back up, back up. Get that guy. 
one more missile for this guy here. Okay, great. And now, we got more mines to take out. Reload, hurry. There we go. There we go. All right. Whew. We're still moving along. We're still <laughs> somehow making this. I don't know how. Continue through the canyon. We did not get a refill on health or missiles yet, so... Oh, jeez. Looks like there is activity up ahead at that structure. Yeah, it looks like a mine production facility. Their proxy sensor is linked to a nearby terminal. If we disable that, it should prevent oh, the production boy. of mines. I don't think this is going to work out in my favor here. Or no, they just refunded. Okay, great. We're getting a strategy here, I think. Those are just mines. Pull up, pull up. No! Oh, just eat your health. And <laughs> I always forget about it. I've gone down to the water several times already. There we go. Alright, so what are we doing here? Neutralize the mine base. Okay. I see. So you hit X, that actually resets your your guy, so that way you can bring him out here. Okay. Okay, we're gonna head in here. All right. So there's a couple dudes in there. Okay, I kind of I kind of get the flow of this game. I see how this is working here now. That guy did not react very well, did he? Continue upriver. <laughs> I feel like it's all we do here. Just keep going up river. All right, so let's. Oh yeah, so we just explode. Okay, I see how it works. So you don't actually return the thing back to your helicopter. You just uh, destroy it. and break through that vent. See if you Let's can find it. a way to open this thing up. We'll keep eye out for hostiles here. Hostiles, you know, other droids. Or drones, rather. Whoa! Whoa! No one gave us, like, any kind of... Indication that that was going to happen. Droid health is not looking good. All right, we got through those four. There are going to be a lot more. No. Though there are some ships in there and there. Oh, look at here. Okay, so you can interact with that one. It doesn't look like th that either one on the right or the left matters. So you just okay. I thought I was gonna get something special for getting all the computers or something. 
Manila. Bogies in the tunnel. Rook, switch back to the Comanche and neutralize those enemies. Whoa. Okay, up. Oh, wow, they are just pelting me. Okay, spin. Up. Up. All right, we're gonna go back this way. We'll come back around. All right, where's that guy? We gotta go down. Ton of stuff in there. Clear enemies inside the slew ice base. I think we actually I was actually able to get him with some of my normal missiles there. Okay, there we go. Okay. Hack the second blast door. Turn it around, turn it around. We still have enemies in there though, don't we? Oh, up, up. Oh man, I cannot. <laughs> I cannot keep like a good motion there with that. Oh, they're all drones, I see. That's would explain it. Now we're definitely dogfighting with drones. Get him. There we go. Okay, so we gotta go up over this way. Vent. No enemies. That seemed to work. Let's move up. I'm picking up RFID readings from the downed UAV. It's emanating from the central rock formation. This is more than likely where they're keeping what we're after. Copy that, Dog Lord. Handyman, Ooh. hang back and stay out of trouble. We'll clear you a path. All right, we're going to quit back over to the main menu. I saw that uh, it looks like you could pick between chapters. If you hit single player, um, you get different. Okay, so mission one has five different chapters. That's that's pretty sizable. I mean, if you're a really good helicopter pilot and you're used to these sort of flight sims and stuff, I'm sure you're going to be going through that a lot quicker than I am. And I'm starting to get a feel for it now, which is cool. Um, so mission one is the only thing that's available in the early access at the moment. There's two more chapters. We won't cover those right now, but I do want to check out the multiplayer. We'll play a match or two of that, but you can see here that mission two is coming soon. Mission three, more missions will be developed over the course of the early access program. So stay tuned. So let's check out multiplayer quick play. If we can get into a game here, that would be cool. Um, hopefully we can, we'll, we'll see what kind of, uh, audience this game has so far, but yeah, I was doing god awful at the beginning of that wasn't i the tutorials i don't feel do a great job of sort of getting you to where you need to be to really control that helicopter well um but what i will say though is that like after like getting used to it playing it for a bit there like i started to more get used to what the game was asking of you and how to control it and that kind of thing you go back and forth between the helicopter and the drone constantly to, to do different things which is cool um but Controlling the helicopter is, it's tough. Um, they do, let's see if we, if we go home, will that actually keep us in queue? Yes, it will. Okay, it's still up here. So if we go to home and we go, actually, I guess we just go to options here. Let's see, this is all quality for the actual game itself. Controls, here we go. So you're using keyboard and mouse. Here's select flight mode. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, yeah, 
yeah, sure. So simulation, I actually had hybrid selected. Arcade is probably what I'm more looking for. It says like it, it's easy to control and all available assistants are on, but you can't really do risky stuff. Hybrid is kind of a hybrid between the two. And it says these are two experimental controls uh, to mess around with. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I almost feel like I should give the other one like the arcade one, a quick shot. Simulation seems like it'll be too complicated for me because uh, I'm not used to playing flight sims and that kind of stuff. Always been more of an arcade guy when it comes to, you know, flight games or car games or that kind of thing. I'm not usually the, the biggest fan of like real life simulation type stuff, you know, but I could definitely see a market for that. Someone who really wants to, you know, someone who may even have experience flying a helicopter wants to actually use a flight stick probably with this game and move the thing around. Um, and if that's the case, this game definitely feels realistic, for sure. Let's see if we can actually find a multiplayer game here. Uh, I'm going to check out their forums real quick while we're sitting here just to see what we got going on. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Discussions in the... Oh, there we go. Okay. I was going to say, uh, the first pinned comment is from March 12th. So I was going to say, oh, discussions don't seem like pretty up to the minute here. But the, no, the people had posted today about this game and everything. So they're posting about gamepad support and everything. I was more curious to see if people are saying, you know, uh, you know, the multiplayer is dead or anything like that. Because we've been waiting three minutes here. I think we'll probably give it up to five minutes here just to see if we can get into a game. If not, yeah, at least you guys can tell. Like, you, you may have to actually organize a multiplayer game to play with everybody. Uh, somebody is saying here, though, that in, in Australia, the multiplayer seems to lag a lot. Uh, of course, keep in mind that this game is early access. Uh, so, you know, not everything is going to be perfect and things are subject to change as it goes on, right? That's just, it is just the way of the early access. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a, looks, sounds like there's a lot of little things they're looking into fixing. Sounds like there's no actual pause in the single player for you to take a break. Yeah, because I noticed that when I hit escape and I went to the main menu, the game still kept going and the helicopter kept moving. So that is something there. Where are we at? We're at four and a half minutes almost here. But yeah, like I was saying, though, I was doing terrible this game when we first started, but I started getting a feel for it, and I kind of understand, like, what they're going for there. They kind of re, uh, reset you with your health and your missiles, you know, every every couple steps there. And um, when they do that, it's like, oh, okay, now I can take these dudes out with, you know, with my, my lock-on mission, my lock-on missiles. Makes it just a bit easier um, to deal with and you kind of use your your actual main gun for cleanup, you know, take out those those enemies that uh, Have a little bit of health left, but not much um, All right, there we are we're, we're at about yeah, we're, we're over five minutes waiting for a game here, so This is for unranked play estimated wait time is not available. So I don't know if that means that games are not really not really happening or what, but yeah, guys, I think that's going to be Comanche. Uh, you, you get at least got a taste of the single player here. Hopefully the multiplayer is actually able to build a little bit of an audience here because I could see this being pretty fun to play. Uh, as I said at the beginning of the video, don't forget to subscribe here to Video Chumps. And also, I have my own personal YouTube channel, which is at youtube.com slash watch GGRC. Definitely make sure you check out that channel uh, and subscribe there because if you like this, you're going to like what I do over there. It's the same kind of stuff, except I do reviews and that other, uh, some other kind of stuff as well. Uh, but guys, I want to thank you for watching, of course, and I'll see you all in the next Let's Play. See you then.